Hey, how y'all doing out there? Back again with another video. And today we're going to look at the Honor Note 10. Once again, I said the Honor Note 10. Now, this is a Chinese phone. It's made by Huawei. Now, maybe some of you have heard of Huawei. Maybe some of you haven't. But Huawei is a Chinese company that's currently has been banned by the United States because they figure they felt they feel like, you know, they have spyware on their phones or whatever. So Trump right now has banned them from using Google or Android or any of those type of services. But <clears throat> we're not here to talk about all that. We're just here to just talk about the phone and my experience with the phones since I've had it. I purchased this phone, I think sometime last year, either November, or December of last year. And I absolutely love this phone, this phone. Now, let me just tell you why I purchased this phone. I purchased this phone from seeing a video from Flossie Carter. He does an excellent job with his reviews. I've been watching him for years now. He did an unboxing of this phone. And when he, you know, showed me all the specs and all everything that the phone does, I said, I just had to have this phone because I prefer big giant phones because I watch a lot of media on my devices and the bigger the screen, the happier I am. So when I saw this and all the specs that come with it, I said, I got to get this phone. Now, let me just explain to you the things that sold me on this phone. First of all, the display, the display is a 6.9.5 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 2200 by 1080, 331 pixels per square inch. Now that may not sound like much, but as you can see, looking at the, at the display, the display is absolutely beautiful. It is the best 1080p AMOLED display I've ever seen. And I've had close to 20 something phones. <laughs> and this display is almost on the level of a Samsung display. That's how good it is. And it's only 1080p. The other thing that sold me on this phone is the fact that it has dual stereo speakers, a long grill at the top of the phone and a long grill at the bottom of the phone. Stereo dual speakers with Dolby Atmos to go along with it. So not only are you getting a big giant screen, but you're getting great speakers to go with it. Not one down firing speaker. The other thing that attracted me to this phone is the fact that it has a 5,000 milliamp battery. Let me say that again. A 5,000 milliamp battery. The biggest battery I have in any of the phones that I have. Easily, I've gotten between nine and a half to over 10 hours of on-screen time. I've gotten a day and a half, almost two days out of this phone. Depending on how you use it though, everybody's battery life is gonna vary depending on how you use your phone. Now, if you stream a lot of stuff off the internet, you could tend to use more battery. But if you're just using it moderately to heavy, or maybe just videos straight off the phone, not streaming, easily you're gonna get a day and a half to two days of battery life out of this phone. No question about it. If you're a light user, you could probably get three days. That's how awesome this battery is, okay? Also, this phone has a rear fingerprint scanner. It has dual cameras on the back. One is 24 megapixels and one is 16 megapixels. It has AI, artificial intelligence built in to the software. It has a 13 megapixel selfie cam on the front. It has face unlock which is pretty fast. I mean, I, this thing has even unlocked my face in pure darkness, <laughs> which is amazing to me because it doesn't have an IR blaster. I mean, I'm sorry, an iris scanner like the Note 9, which scans your eyes. This thing just scans your face. And I just wanted to see if it could open up my face in in, in complete darkness, and it did. So that, that impressed me, and it opens up pretty quick. Now, it's not always 100%, but... You know, it, it when it does work, it works really fast. And it's it works, you know, I would say probably about 95% of the time, which is not bad at all. The fingerprint scan on the rear is extremely fast. You just the slightest touch of your finger, it pops it right open, no problem. This thing comes with six gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of onboard storage, and also you could expand the memory with an SD card 
all the way up to 256 gigs. Now that's awesome. I mean, right there, that that sold me. Also, it has super charging. That means it can charge this phone in less, probably like about, if I'm not mistaken, about an hour and a half for a 5,000 milliamp battery it can charge this phone, fully charge this phone in an hour and a half. That's impressive because there's phones that I've had that had way smaller batteries and it took almost two hours to fully charge it with fast charging. So this is not just fast charging. This is supercharge. It also has USB type C. It also unfortunately doesn't have two things that are that are missing in my opinion on this phone. It's missing wireless charging and also does not have a headphone jack. It does come with an adapter in the box. It also comes with a case and a built-in screen protector, which I think is pretty impressive for that price point. I got this for about five, five hundred dollars. So that's not bad. So you're getting a lot and you're not paying a lot. So this phone really, really impressed me. It's pretty fast and fluid. See? Boom. Right in. Boom. Right in. Boom. Right in. See how fast it gets right in? Boom. Right in. Quick. Comes with the Karen 970 chipset. Is running Android Pi 9.0. So it's definitely up to date at the moment. Well, I think it's 9.1 or 9.2 right now. But it does have Andrew, Android Pi. So it just got that recently. But... <clears throat> currently is banned and my play store app has disappeared off the phone as soon as trump banned um huawei so that's un that's unfortunate so i'm just i'm just saying you know i'm not going to spec you to death and all that i'm just saying this phone is extremely impressive um it's heavy has a glass back now i have to use a case on it because the phone without a case is like holding a bar of soap. <laughs> Very slippery. And it has some really good heft to it. Like, it's heavy. Like, you could actually use this phone as a weapon. It's so heavy. But the phone is impressive. You know, the screen is absolutely gorgeous. The cameras on it are fairly decent. Especially with the, you know, in the right lighting conditions. Cameras work really well. Um, I have Nova Launch on here. Because I wanted, you know, I just wanted a different look. I don't like the EMUI that, you know, that, that comes with the phone. I just prefer Nova Launcher because I can do more. Like the, the 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 skin that comes on it, the icons are really humongous, and I don't like I don't really like giant icons. I like my icons to be, you know, I guess small to medium size. But as you can see, no lag. I've never had lag on this phone since the day I've had it. No lag whatsoever. I mean, everything pops open. Everything is fast and fluid. I mean, I just, I just love this device. I really do. Um, <clears throat> to watch movies on here is an absolute joy because the screen is so big. There's a thin bezel at the top, thin at the bottom. Um, right now I have it in full screen because I'm using the um, the gestures as opposed to having the on-screen buttons, which you can change and put that on there. But I just like to utilize the whole entire screen. It just looks better overall. So <clears throat> overall, this is a great device. Um, I hope the situation gets straight with Google so they can start using Google stuff again. But if not, you know, I was told I could still use um google services i just can't use the play store so it's pretty unfortunate any other new huawei devices that are coming out they'll have to figure something else out because google they won't be able to use google at all but once again this is the honor note 10 if you've never heard of this company before it's a subsidiary of huawei they make this phone and it's a chinese phone and um, they don't advertise here in this country. That's why if some of you are looking at it, trying to figure out, I never heard of Huawei because they don't advertise over here. It's, this is a Chinese phone. 
And the only reason why I found out about it is just watching YouTube videos and watching my boy Flossie Carter. And I saw this, so it intrigued me, so I went and got it. But like I said, don't forget, <laughs> got to put a case on this. And I got this case, you know, off of Amazon and it has a stand on it. The movie experience on this phone is second to none. It's awesome. And the stereo speakers, they're nice and loud. They're rich sounding. It's just it's just a great device. So it's definitely worth picking up. You can probably get it. I know you can get it either anywhere between 370 bucks to maybe 450 So it's really not that expensive at all. And you're getting a lot of phone for your money. Definitely worth it. Only thing I wish you had on it, well, another thing, I wish you had an IR blaster, which you control your TV and all kind of things like that, wireless charging, and also a headphone jack. If it had those three things, it would be perfect for me. <laughs> Just perfect. But I'm still happy with it nonetheless. Once again, this is the Honor Note 10. You could get the best prices for it either on Amazon.com or eBay. Both of them have good prices. All right, you guys take care until the next time. Peace.